Indonesia hopes that the local company PT Durgantara Indonesia, PTDI, can get the green light to manufacture the French Rafales. However, the transfer of technology, as the Zona Jakarta resource writes, will take place if the country increases its fleet to 100 Dassault Rafale fighters. This is a requirement of the French manufacturer Dassault Aviation, the Indonesian website said. It's just that Dassault Aviation still wants Indonesia to fulfill additional requirements if it wants to facilitate the provision of full technology transfer. Namely, by purchasing a minimum of 58 additional units so that the fleet availability in that country reaches 100 units, says the publication. So far, the negotiation process on the Rafale technology transfer is still being discussed by the Indonesian government and Dassault Aviation. This is because PTDI wishes to manufacture several aircraft components independently in Bandung so that they can become part of the global production chain, even assembling complete fighter units, as India does with its Russian-made air combat products, if it is possible. In the future, we can become part of their global production chain, PTDI director Geetha Ampuriavan said in an interview. Negotiations between Indonesia and France to acquire Rafale fighter jets began in early 2021 as part of Jakarta's efforts to modernize its air force. In February 2022, the two countries officially signed a contract to purchase 42 Rafale F-4 fighter jets. The deal is part of a larger strategic partnership between France and Indonesia in the defense sphere, with the main objective being to increase Indonesia's combat capability in light of rising tensions in the Indo-Pacific region. The price of the contract is estimated at around 8.1 billion euros, 9.2 billion dollars. The agreement calls for the delivery to take place in stages, with six fighters initially ordered, followed by a further 36. The first units are expected to arrive in Indonesia in 2026, while the final delivery of all aircraft is due by 2030. This allows the country to begin integrating advanced Rafale F-4 technology within a few years. The technology transfer part of the contract is particularly important for Indonesia, as it involves significant investment in the domestic production and maintenance of the fighters. This will create new jobs and improve the technological capabilities of the local defense industry. The Rafale F-4 is the latest version of the multi-role fighter jet. It includes advanced avionics, weapon systems, and improved interoperability, all of which will significantly enhance Indonesia's defense capabilities in a region of growing geopolitical challenges. The Dassault Rafale F-4 is the latest version of the multi-role fighter produced by the French company Dassault Aviation. This aircraft is designed to perform a wide range of missions, including air superiority, precision ground strikes, reconnaissance, and nuclear deterrence. The Rafale F-4 is equipped with advanced avionics, including a new AESA active electronically scanned array, radar, an improved communication system, and a revamped sensor management system. The aircraft is equipped with the latest generation of weapons, including Meteor air-to-air -air missiles and upgraded air-to-surface cruise missiles. The Snecma M88 engines allow the Rafale to reach speeds above Mach 1.8 and have an operational range of around 3,700 km with additional tanks. The Rafale F-4 is also designed with enhanced interoperability and multi-platform connectivity through network hubs. Innovations also include an advanced defense and electronic warfare system, as well as improved support through predictive repair and service technologies. This makes the F-4 not only combat-ready but also easy to maintain in the long run. The Dassault Rafale F-4 is expected to be a key component in the modernization of the French Air Force, as well as other foreign operators who already have various versions of the Rafale. France is the main operator of the Rafale, with over 190 aircraft dedicated to the needs of the country's air force and navy. Apart from France, several other countries have chosen the Rafale as part of their air forces. Egypt is one of the first export customers, with 54 units ordered to date, and India has 36 aircraft in its inventory. Qatar also owns 36 Rafale jets, while Greece has contracted to buy 24. In recent years, the Rafale has become increasingly popular in the international market, thanks to its versatility and combat effectiveness. In addition to the new deal with Indonesia for 42 aircraft, the United Arab Emirates placed a significant order for 80 Rafale aircraft in 2021, further underscoring its appeal on a global scale. Each of these countries uses the aircraft in a variety of roles, from strategic defense to participation in international missions, demonstrating the versatility and adaptability of this multi-role fighter.